I'm going to show you where to get all three of Misko's treasures in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Now, the way you're supposed to do this, there's an NPC roaming the roads out here in this continent. Uh, somewhere to the northwest. I haven't run into that person before. There's like Meshi or something like that. Uh, but even if you don't talk to them, you can still go get the pieces. But if you talk to them, they'll show you where everything is on the map. So I don't have the map for this region, but we, I, you can see where the new Serene Stable is. So starting from this place, there's a shrine right there you can fast travel to. You're going to head over this way to the east on this road for the first treasure. And it's actually right near here. You're going to go down here. And then on the left, there's going to be this cave right here. So we're going to stop right here. We're going to go inside of this cave. Now, the first thing you'll encounter are two of these guys. And in order to deal with these guys, the easiest way to do it is with a bow. And they'll come at you once you get close enough. And then you can hit them with the bow. And then you can pick whatever the strongest weapon you have is. I've got to watch out for the other one trying to eat me. All right. That takes care of one of them. Then we look at the other one with a bow. And then we can grab this other Bokoblin whatever arm I have. Perfect weapon for this. Just strong enough to kill them, then explode. All right. And then he'll drop a treasure chest you can open up. This is, does not have our treasure, though, but it has a soldier shield, which is actually insanely good. Uh, and then I'm going to drop one of the flame emitter ones to make room for it. Pick up these like-like stones. There's also a treasure chest from the other guy. And the other one dropped a wooden shield, which I don't really care about. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to grab our... Not this. We're going to use our ascend ability. And we're going to ascend up through this. All right. Now we're up here. There are some frogs if you want to grab them. There's tireless frogs, specifically. Wow, and they can run through walls. Okay, well, anyway. Uh, so we're going to head up this way now. There's all sorts of things in here for you to loot if you want. So there's one of those guys on the ceiling. I don't think we even need to deal with him. I think we can just ignore him. I'm pretty sure, at least. Now we're going to head up here. There's one of those uh, frog things if you want to kill it. Maybe we have to kill it, actually. Hold up. I'm going to shoot him. I think that actually just killed him, though. No, it didn't. Okay, well, I can't really hit him in the water. So oh, what? that got him. A, a bubble gem. Okay. I should probably deal with this guy. Okay. Got that guy out of the way. All right. Now, here's the thing. You don't actually have to do that at all. What you actually need to do in order to get the treasure after the Mixos treasure is you're going to go back down here, and there's a secret passage right down here. So you go down into here. A bunch of bright caps. I definitely want those bright caps. Okay, that one's like bugged. Oh, there we go. Bomb flowers, more bright caps. Anyway, there's a treasure chest in here. So we open this one up. This one has climbing gear. Okay, so that is the first one of Mixo's treasures. For the next one, the closest shrine is going to be the Tanitan Shrine down here south of central Hyrule. So right here, I don't have the map yet, but you can get a good idea of where it is right there. All right, so there's this shrine. You're going to head over here to the north. And you'll see on this rock wall that there's this random bundle of rocks that can be destroyed. So you're going to go over here with any kind of rock that has a, or any kind of stick that has a rock on it in order to break your way into the Whistling Hill Cave. All right, so now we're in the Whistling Hill Cave. You don't need to glide down. I just think it's fun to glide down. All right, so now you just need to go through this cave. All right, over here, we can just use any kind of sharp weapon in order to break through these things. I really want to see what this is. A hardy truffle. All right, cut through that. I'm going to swap back to the rock sledge. Pull out the paraglider so I don't take fall damage. 
I'm actually really glad these guys are here. Oh my god, his head just keeps rolling away, man. There we go. Uh, I really needed some more weapons. Arms, got a Boko bow. Rusty Claymore, a Halbrid? That's insane. Oh, I'm gonna have to drop something for that, though. Let's drop stick. All right, that's pretty cool. Uh, lots of things to pick up here. Some stuff to mine if you want to. Gonna keep moving, though. All right, so now we're into this room right here. There's stuff over there, and there's this right here on the left. We're gonna go to this over here on the left, and we're gonna use Ascend. And get out right here. Now we're gonna head out here. Oh, well. I should have seen that one coming. Well, be really careful with that. Oh, let me just eat something real fast. Um, I'm waiting for him to do it. I'm just gonna. Okay, if you go fast enough, you can just run underneath him. I guess he's not very happy about that, though. You can go figure out that one any which way you want to try to figure that out. All right, now we're gonna break this. And now we are in a room with this guy. All right, he's gonna do that. I'm gonna take this chance to use the Boko Blin arm. That's super strong, but explodes super fast. We got two of these on the way, but I only picked up one, unfortunately. In your case, you might wanna pick up two, because two would be just enough to finish this guy. Now I gotta do another cycle because I didn't have two Boko Blin arms. Alright, so he's gonna do more lightning, and then afterwards he'll reveal himself. Whoops, I have my sensitivity on like maximum, so it's very hard to aim. Alright, and that defeats that guy. Shock like stone. And a shock fruit. And he drops this chest. Which just has a wooden shield in it. No, nothing fancy in that chest. I don't know that I even had to kill the guy, but, you know. Gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Alright, so there's this rock wall up here. Um, that's not what I meant to press. Uh, I'm gonna pull out my melee weapons, and I'm going to take the rock sledge. I'm actually really curious. Can I... Th okay. I'm trying... To do this with the rock slides. There we go. Alright, I think we can do that. It made an animation. Yep, you can just throw the rock sledge at it twice. And then, um, that'll break it. And the second one, the sledge will just go straight through. Alright, and then after that, there's a chest right here. And inside of this chest is gonna be the rubber armor. So there's a second of Mixos treasures. Alright, so that's the second one, guys. Let's go ahead and move on to the third one. So the next one, the closest shrine, is going to be the Yamiyo Shrine. At least the closest one that I know of. And from here, we're going to cross the Orsed Bridge and then go left. So I just now grabbed this horse with the horse taming exploit that I figured out. Uh, if you want to know how to tame horse with the horse taming exploit, just look around this YouTube. There's a trick you can do to just tame them like... Tame any horse you want pretty much instantly without all the BS of chasing around for 5-10 minutes trying to get on it. Anyway, that's a brand new horse. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to forgive him. He's uh very wild right now. All right, so we're gonna head up here, and then once we get across the bridge, we're gonna head over here to the left. I don't know that the horse is actually gonna be able to come with us, though it was nice while it lasted. Oh, maybe he can come with us. Okay. All right, we're gonna head up this way. Gonna come over to here. And somewhere around there, around here, there's a cave. I'm trying trying to refresh my memory on where this cave is exactly. I thought it was right here, but it's, it's I'm missing it. It's somewhere right around here. Uh, maybe it's not, no, right there. Is this it? Maybe this is it. No, this is not it. Look at the map. Where am I at? Oh, I'm I'm way far away from the water. I need to go. I need to go. Um, somewhere over. It's somewhere over here. Okay, I think this, maybe this is it. 
Um, I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. We gotta blow up these rocks. So it's right here on the map. To the northeast of central Hyrule. And there's gonna be all these rocks here. I think this is it at least. If this is not it, it's right around here somewhere. Might not be it. No, this is actually not it. It's it's somewhere right around here. The maid's right underneath this. No, it's literally right beside this. Okay, here it is. Alright, there we go. Right there. Alright, so here we are. The third and final cave. The Krenel Hills Cave. So we're going to go inside of here. And then we're going to drop down into here. And we're going to have to head over to that obnoxious glowing rock on the wall. Now I want to try throwing my weapon. I'm curious if I can blow it up with it. Yeah, so you can do it with a weapon, or you can throw bombs at it, or you could use bomb arrows. I just think it's hilarious doing this. There is a bomb arrow literally on the ground right here, if you want to use it. But it's kind of fun just throwing the weapon at it. Alright, it might have cleared enough. Let's see if that was enough. Looks like that was enough. Alright, so we just got to get through here, get inside of here. And inside of here is another chest. Now this chest, it has the Barbarian Armor. So there you guys go. That's all three pieces of the armor. Let me see if I can equip them for you to show you. We got the Barbarian Armor that looks like that. We've got the Climbing Gear, which looks like that. And we have the Rubber Armor, which looks like that. So if you guys wanted any of these pieces of armor, well, that's what they look like. And that's how to get all of Mikso's treasures in Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom.